Hello everyone and welcome back. So we are continuing on the previous video where we are talking about the task APIs. The only mistake we have done is we haven't put await. So because it's like it is going to return a promise. So we have to await for it, right? It's async. So without putting await, you will just see a different results, right? Which I talked about. So in the loggers, we are able to get the task and everything, but we are not getting in the response because we have to await for that results to be returned. So now if you just do get all tasks, I'm able to get all the tasks. Here you can create a new task. Right, you can get the task now. Right, so this is working. Now you can also create another routes like get task by ID. And we have to take care of this async of it because Sometimes we miss them, so we have to take care. So here, this is the ID I am passing. And you can also do the validation for this particular ID that this ID should be of type UUID. This also you can do the validation. So here it will be param and it will be and it will be a task param you can say. And we can create a task param DTO in our same DTO class. It should be in the DTO, so export class task param DTO. Here we can create uh, what is this task ID? So we are calling this as an ID. So this ID is of type string. Okay, so we can just add a validations. Is GUID? Okay. And it should be defined. This is fine, I think. So here in the task param, we are expecting these two things. Back to task controller. Okay, here params we have to add in the get task by id simple and here in the request param dot id we are passing and get all task it will be a get task we are passing the id and we also need a response object so Simple response.send and we are sending the data back and this is the ID we are getting. Get task. Get task is simply is get task by ID. And here we are calling this and we can just make it in the promise wrapper. So here we are passing the ID and we are just matching that ID with the current UUIDs and we are returning that. So this is another controller we have created, which is get task by ID, right? Similarly, you can just here we are doing a validation also that whatever the request parameter you have added in the ID that should be of type UUID. And now we are not forgetting to put await because this is returning promise and we have to await to get the result in the data and then we are sending back. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if you want to update, delete, all these methods can be there. We can also do this as a delete. delete task by id you can just import this here same validations will be required we can just change this method to delete task and we can add that in the task service we can just duplicate the same functionality because it's kind of same delete task okay it should be delete task method then in the store service So delete task is nothing but we will override this after removing the that particular id 
so in filter what we will do is give me all the results except that id and what i will do is this dot task equal to the new task i got okay and i will just return the new set of tasks which has not been deleted which are still there it would be a task array you can see promise dot resolve same i need to change in the task service it is returned in task array and same thing in the controller we are not returning so now so this what we have created we have created some set of methods with request validations how to write async controllers where you are calling some particular service service is managing some local data from that local data we are just playing around get put post delete all these methods these are the routes we have created so you have to use this validation pipe you can also attach this globally if you want this validation pipe will take care of this request param validation that it should be of uuid not any random string so if you are passing any garbage value it will be discarding that okay this is all thanks everyone